and um, you, you had a day job. Oh yeah, and what several were you stuff envelopes. I would mow lawns, you know, landscaping stuff. You know, lots of like temp type jobs. Worked at the Seattle Uro Urological Clinic for a while. Just shit jobs, restaurants. Um, nothing that would last like, you know, department stores. Nothing that would last like more than like a year at the most. I wasn't a very good employee. I was really bad. And it would seem like when I finally got the job at the Seattle Urological Clinic, they really liked me there and they wanted me to stay. And I was like, really? What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Like, I'm terrible. And I never really was good at anything, at, you know, as far as those jobs. Some of the publishers I sent stuff to, I don't even think exist anymore, like uh -huh. Alternative Comics. Uh -huh. um, I think I might have sent some stuff to Slave Labor or something, but I don't think they were too interested in what I was doing. Um, I mean, frankly, I don't think anybody was interested in what I was doing. Cause it seemed like a lot of the comics at the time, and even now, a lot of Alternative Comics are going for a very serious, you know, they want highbrow they want to they, they want to be recognized by as like a serious art form mm -hmm. and you know I was doing like fucking shit <laughs> diarrhea stuff and they didn't want that so it was pretty grim for humor comics uh -huh. I mean it still is but even then it was it was pretty grim it was because only because of being champion championed by Peter Bag and Eric Reynolds mm -hmm. and I think Gilbert Hernandez was a fan too he had put me in one of his anthology books it was almost just kind of like all right all right publish it already <laughs> just leave me alone uh -huh. and how'd, how'd those first couple years go for the book yeah i mean it's all right i guess you know it was rough i mean it was sort of like when the internet was first started to kind of like really get going and, and message boards and things and you know they, they weren't kind but you know, one of the things, at least with my work ethic, it's kind of like when people are busy shitting on issue number one, I'm already like working on issue number three, and that was sort of like my way of kind of getting getting around that is is to you know just keep working so quickly that you know, the critics can't even like catch up to what I'm doing. You've done other work. Uh, Who I, said that? You said it. Me? Uh, kind of. I don't know if it's like illustration or. You know, other art type work besides comics. I do like, you know, that's like freelance stuff, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of just shit that, you know, there's there's comics you know, and there's shit that pays the bills. Like, I was uh -huh. just sort of like thinking of it as almost like a business card. Like, you know, this is my stuff. Uh -huh. And, you know, trying to see if I can get publishers or somebody interested. I'll do stuff, I'll do illustrations for, you know, magazines or newspapers. Yeah. Uh, you know, weeklies. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, whatever, uh, commissions, you know, that's it's the stuff that, that pays money.